Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to annotate your photos. Now, one thing iPhoto doesn't let you do is annotate your photos. Add a little bit of text or circle something. But you can do that on your Mac without having to go to the extreme of using a graphics program like Photoshop. One way to do it is using Preview, and another way to do it is using Pages if you own iWork. So let's start with Pages because there's a lot you can do in Pages. Of course, it's a word processing program, but instead of choosing word processing, choose a page layout template. Let's do a landscape one, and then let me reposition it and shrink it here so we could see it. And I'm going to drag from the desktop here a JPEG file. Let me shrink it down the zooming there. And I can do a lot already just with this JPEG file on this blank canvas. Of course, I can expand it to fill the space or more or less. And I can use the inspector to set the, the uh, stroke here to a picture frame and use a fancy picture frame like that. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to select it and I'm going to lock that picture. So now I can't select it. It's basically just part of the background. Now I can use things like shapes, create a circle there, I bring the inspector in again and I'll change that circle to have no fill and increase the line stroke there and I can easily position that around so that it's where I want it to be. I can continue to use more shapes like this arrow here. Put the arrow on the other side. And have a point to it. And I could very easily add text boxes as well, like this, and increase the size of that. So that's some of the basics of what you can do. So that really just scratches the surface because you can use shapes and text boxes to do a variety of different things, and you can even add other photos and images on top and basically do a page layout with your photos. And when you're done, you can export out and you can export it out uh, as a PDF, which is a good thing to send it as. And if you like, you can then convert the PDF to a image in preview. So if you don't have pages, you can do a lot of this in preview if you have Snow Leopard. Double click on the image there and it'll open up in preview. Uh, let me shrink it down so we could see the image there. And you should have as part of your default toolbar here the annotate button. You've also got it under tools, annotate there. And we can do some basic stuff like add a circle, add an arrow, add some text. Now there's not quite a good, as good of an inspector in preview as there is in pages, but it's there under Tools Show Inspector and it brings this up and there are several different panes here. The last one is actually the annotations pane and depending upon what you have selected you can do various things. So for instance I can select um, the circle here and I can adjust the thickness. There we go. I can make it dashed. So I have some options, adjust the color, same thing with this line. And if I select the text, I can also adjust some things there, as well as just select the text, bring up the text inspector by pressing Command T and increase the size in there. And the great thing about doing this in preview is you might be limited in the different shapes and things that you can do, but you can then save it out right there in the JPEG format and even choose the quality. So there are two ways that you can annotate your photos, make them a little more fun and interesting before you share them with friends. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.